Hey everyone and welcome back to the Tapleshare YouTube channel. Have you ever had a chance to take a really close look at the scales on a fish? For today's fish craft, we'll get a chance to create our very own beautiful pattern of fish scales using stickers. Let's get started. To create your fish windsock, you will need a variety of different colors of circle stickers. You'll need a pair of scissors, some glue, either a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll. You'll need a single hole punch, two googly eyes, some ribbon, and some double-sided tape. To begin, I'm going to choose which colors I'd like to make the scales on my fish. I'm going to use blue and orange and yellow. But you can make your windsock whatever colors you would like, depending on what stickers you have. And I'm going to start at the bottom and then slowly add layers upon layers of circle stickers to create uh, the fish scales. This first layer, I'm going to hang down about a half of the circle and then I'm going to overlap each circle slightly, just the way the scales do on a fish. And the last layer of scales, I'll put right at the top of the toilet paper roll so that they stick half on the outside and half on the inside. The next thing I will do is add the ribbon to the bottom of the fish windsock. I've gone ahead and cut 12 pieces of ribbon, three different colors here, approximately 30 to 40 centimeters in length. And I'm going to attach them on the bottom here, right inside the paper towel roll or the toilet paper roll with double-sided tape. And once you've finished attaching the ribbons to the bottom of your fish windsock, uh, cut one more piece of ribbon. So we've got 12 here, this would be piece number 13. Once again, approximately 30 to 40 centimeters in length. This will be how we hang it up. Going to use my single hole punch and punch in two holes, not too close to the edge so it doesn't rip off, but maybe about a centimeter in or so. And directly across the toilet paper roll on the other side, I'll punch another hole. This piece you can thread through the toilet paper roll, one from each side, so that the knot when you tie it, we'll sit down in the fish windsock. Just an overhand knot. And now we will attach our eyes to our fish windsock. We're gonna place the eyes maybe about another centimeter below each of the holes. And now you're ready to hang your fish windsock out in the wind. And once you've finished creating your fish windsock, hang it up in a tree to catch the wind. Take a photo and tag us on social media at Tackleshare. 
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Tackle Share YouTube channel to keep more fishing content coming your way. See you next time.